This is Iron Solomon coming live and direct from NYC to STL. And I'm shouting out STLHipHop.com. That's what's up, man. And what you doing out there in New York City right now, man? And tell everybody who you are, though. Like, what what do you do? People want to know. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, you know, I'm a, I'm just a, a fan of hip-hop and a participant in the culture. A lot of people know me from the from the battles, from the Smack DVD or Fight Club or Scribble Jam and Grind Time, all those, all the good arenas. And, um, yeah, so I, I have a mixtape out called Red Room Radio. You can get that at djbooth.net. Or um, you can go to my website, ironsolomon.com, and download it for free. And then I, I got the album coming out. The album is called Monster. You can pre-order it on iTunes now. The link is also on my website, ironsolomon.com. And the, the official release date is this Tuesday, March 27th. The album is uh, entirely produced by myself and, and uh, my partner, Isaiah, with a couple couple other producers in there. But we, we worked on every single song from so pretty much uh, start to finish. And I got a couple, you know, uh, incredible guest appearances from people that I grew up listening to and love and respect. So we got um, Alif Kweli on there, DMC, the legendary Run DMC, um, Novel, uh, see, Cassidy, Paul Wall, Gene Gray, um, and then and then my, you know, my dear friends and, and frequent music collaborators Isaiah and um, Gordon Boywell. This was up, man. So tell me about the battle scene. I heard you're one of the biggest battle rappers out there in the country right now. Is that true? Um, if, if, that's, if that's what they say, man, I can't call it. So tell me about some of your battles right quick, man. Yeah, you know, some, some of my more uh, notorious opponents were Chan, e from Making the Band, you know, Matt, Matt Hoffa, Smack DVD, Thesaurus, um, you know, a lot, of, a lot of great people that I have a lot of respect for. You know, a couple million views here and there, a lot of love from the people. You know, I'm just just fortunate to, to be able to do something that I love and have people enjoy it and respect it and, and want to tell other people about it and, and having an organic fan base that's just grown by word of mouth, you know. That's what's up, man. So how long have you been doing this, though, man? How long have you been a fan of hip-hop and how long have you actually been a participant in hip-hop as a rapper? Um, You know, I've been a fan of hip-hop probably, like, close to right out the womb. Um, my whole family is musicians and everybody is very open-minded and very musical and, and my pops was always on the cutting edge of, of what music was coming out so like one of the first albums that he bought was mwa Stray out of Compton. Like, when i when i was a little kid we were playing at the family car so I, I you know from early on i was around it and i think that just being around it it made me feel like i could do it you know so my, my dad is a musician my mom is a musician so i felt like you know obviously it's possible to be a musician so i'm just gonna do it and so pretty much when I was like eight or nine years old, I was rapping and playing guitar and playing the drums a little bit and this and that. So I've, you know, it's been a long time that I've been a fan and a, and a participant. What were one of your biggest inspirations and wanted to take it to the next level? Um, you know, I, I guess like as soon as I picked up an instrument or, or picked up a microphone, I, I just made a decision that this is going to be my life and my career, and I never really looked back. You know, at, at nine years old, I was you know, posing with a guitar in a mirror with a microphone and imagine the, the cover of Rolling Stone and sh that um, the thing that, that inspires me most about hip hop is that, you know, I'm able to bring in all my different influences that hip, hip hop is a collage culture. And, you know, you can take pieces of rock and roll. You can take pieces of soul music. You can take pieces of um, jazz and the blues. You can take, take pieces of country music or classical music and you can mix all of that together and, and, and make something new and make something more vibrant and more alive than than all of the pieces that you put into it. So that to me, that's the most inspirational thing.